supraventricular tachycardia, SVT. Supraventricular tachycardia, SVT, is associated with a very regular but fast heart rate, reaching 180 to 220 beats per minute. The beginning and end of palpitations is similar to a light bulb being switched on and off. For example, the heart can suddenly jump from 80 to 180 beats per minute and then abruptly return to 80 beats per minute. SVT can last from a few minutes to several hours. It creates the sensation of a palpitating heart attempting to escape the chest. It is neither fatal nor dangerous, but it is upsetting. It can start at any moment without any precipitating or predisposing factors. The frequency of episodes varies from person to person and may also vary over time for the same person. Three types of mechanisms are responsible for this arrhythmia. 1. Nodal reentry, or a short circuit in the atrioventricular node, a kind of customs officer that controls electrical signals, which is the most common mechanism. 2. The presence of an extra, accessory, electrical pathway in the heart from birth. 3. A short circuit in the atrium, paroxysmal atrial tachycardia. Nodal reentry is caused by the presence of an atrioventricular, AV node, with two electrical entrances. This phenomenon is found in 30% of the population. When the electrical input moves through these two entrances at the same time, the electrical signal simultaneously goes to the ventricles without causing a short circuit. If the input only passes through one of the two entrances, the flow of electricity takes this path toward the ventricle and goes back up through the other one. An electrical loop, or short circuit, begins and triggers supraventricular tachycardia. The second, less common mechanism, is caused by an extra electrical pathway present from birth to the right or left. The pathway connects the atrium to the ventricle and bypasses the AV node's control. The extra electrical pathway can sometimes have no consequences and cause no arrhythmia. However, extrasystoles can trigger SVT through the accessory pathway. The activity descends through the AV node and moves back up through the accessory pathway, ready to descend again toward the ventricles by way of the AV node. The electrical loop has been created and triggers SVT. This loop can also move in the opposite direction. SVT treatment can vary. It depends on the frequency of episodes, their duration, the symptoms, and the impact on quality of life. For infrequent episodes, medication to be taken when needed may be suggested. Cases of more frequent episodes may be treated with medication taken daily. Ablation therapy may be recommended for patients experiencing the most serious discomfort. This catheter-based therapy involves burning the cause of the short circuit. Valsalva maneuvers. Valsalva maneuvers can sometimes stop SVT. One of these maneuvers consists in creating pressure in the belly, like during a difficult bowel movement. Another involves applying a cold, wet towel to the face. As with all other Valsalva maneuvers, these interventions can act on the heart's nerve connections, affect its electrical system, and as a result, restore its normal rate. Go to iCardio.ca to discover a wealth of information about heart health.